Oh hi, Jinx here, welcome to the channel, hope you're having a good day. Today we are looking at how to float items in Final Fantasy XIV, so come with me and let's get into it. So, we've got our space ready, obviously we can we can perform this floating on furniture in any living space. This is obviously an apartment, but this will work in an FC room, an FC house, a private house, of any size, it does not matter. The first thing I suggest doing is getting yourself an estate maid servant set up. You can buy the permit for these from any of the housing districts. You just place the permit in the room um, and it gives you one of these. Once you've got one placed, you want to go to partitions and wall decorations and you want to buy a stage panel for 1000 gil. Once you've got that, want to go into your housing. You know, I've got one in my storage. Make sure that you are on move and place rather than anything else. Um, drop your stage panel into the space that you're going to be doing this in. For the purpose of this I'm going to be using quite a big item to float because I think those are the easiest things to learn with. So I'm going to be using this Merry Mog bed. I'm just going to line them up so that they're all, well, great. Right. Not really, I don't, you don't have to, it's just, I don't know, it looks better. <laughs> um, and then what I'm going to be using to show lifting this up with is a wooden loft. You can use um, different shelves in the game, but I would highly, highly suggest starting off with a wooden loft. Just because, as you can see, the, the surface area of them is quite big, so it makes it a little bit easier to learn with. Once you're a bit more confident with it, you can have a go with the smaller shelves, which can be used to more easily lift smaller or thinner items. But for the purpose of this, I genuinely feel like wooden loft is easy to learn with. What you want is, I'm gonna place the loft here because we don't want the loft in our indoor furnishing storage. You wanna click on this button to put it in your inventory. It, this this works best if this is in your inventory. I don't really know why, but it does seem to. Um, so what you need to do is you basically need, I, I would turn off toggle grid snap so that you can put this as close to the floor as possible. But what you need to do is you need to be hitting the center of the hitbox, the item you're trying to float with this item. So. What I usually do, I'll move the camera up. Um, get the wooden loft, snap it to the back wall, the stage panel, drag it down, and I usually like to do it so that it's literally just going through the area that you would interact with as a player. Like obviously if you were gonna lay on the bed, it'd be like there, right? Pull it down just a little bit further than that. What you wanna do is you would press M1, or like the place button, um what i do is i press and hold it and then as i let go i hit escape for some reason that confuses the game into placing the item and lifting the bed above it so i click and hold and then i press escape as i let go you click and hold and then as you let go you press escape and it jumps up then you need to go back into indoor furnishings turn it back to your inventory careful not to click the bed it again. Click it to the stage panel, drag it down, drag it down kind of as far as you're comfortable going. Click and hold, let go and escape. And you just repeat that until the item is at the height that you want it to be at. It is a little bit weird to get used to the timing to start with. Um, but, and if you do it too high up, the item won't move and it will just place it through it. Um, so it is a little bit of trial and error, learning kind of what items, oh, like how far you can push it with them. Um, because some items will take a lot longer to lift higher just because they're thinner, but you obviously don't want to go too high in the item and then because then it won't move. Okay, so once you've got your item to the, the height that you want it at. So say we want it there, right? We're gonna take this away. But now the most important step, once you've got your item floated, 
If I was to leave the room now and come back in, this bed would be back on the floor. To lock them in place, you must always go to rotate. I turn toggle grid snap back on for this. Go to rotate, click on the item you floated, click it one direction either way, click on it, put it back. Now, if you leave and come back, that will still be there. Now, obviously, we do not want a, a random bed floating in the middle of the room. As I said, I was doing this just to kind of give you a point of reference of how to learn to it, which is how I suggest learning. Once you're kind of confident with doing it, then you can start putting it into build. Because the thing is, is once you've, wherever an item is placed that you float, that's where it stays. I cannot now collect this and move it somewhere else. If I press M2, it will go back to where it was but I can't kind of move it a little bit further this way. Wherever you float it to, that's where it is. So you need to make sure that you're happy with the placement. What I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna put this into a build. So just to kind of show you what I mean. I would probably usually make like, I was gonna make the walls say, I would place these down just so I know where I'm going to be, where I'm wanting the bed to be. Where, okay, that's as far as they can go. Okay, so if that's where I would have them, then I'm gonna want my bed back. So, kind of there. That would be good. And let's pop a, a little Moogle rug because that's great spin it around pop it under there that's centered yeah cool right so now that's i know that's where i want my bed to be so what i'm going to do is take those two walls away and get ready to float these all together remembering to select back onto the inventory button we're going to do the exact same thing again. This time, oh, turn off toggle grid snap. We're going to go as low as we possibly can because we want to try and get the rug to. Rugs can be an absolute pain. Okay, good, it works. But it's exactly the same, same premise. Go as far down as you can. Click and hold. Escape. See, sometimes it doesn't always work. And for whatever you might, the escape function, the, the escape input might actually hit before anything else does. But as I said, it's a weird one. You do start to kind of get a feel for what she says. <laughs> you do start to kind of get a feel for where the items need to be. For where you need to be hitting them with the loft, sorry. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on with this. I'm going to get this lifted up and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I think I'm happy with where that is now. The only other last thing I would suggest, and this is this is completely personal preference, but a little bit, I, I really like all my furniture to be lined up properly. <coughs> so what I will generally do is I will toggle grid snap for the last one um, so that I can get these to a place where, because right now I think, yeah, look, either, it's way below the carpet or kind of inside the carpet and I don't like that. So I would, I don't know if this would let me just like this. We're gonna try. We'll do one more. The, there we go. Now what that means is I can place loft panels at that level and everything will sit nicely on. There we go. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna do another quick little build around this and I'll be back to show you the finished thing. 
Okay, so here we are. So I floated the bed and the, the rug up this side and then decided to add like a little Moogle, Moogle lamp over here as well as the carbuncle stuff. We got some slanted skylights um, and a lily wall lamp light up here. And I just quickly made a wooden stair steps, bookshelf steps, sorry, get up there for now. And German dogma and a little bit of extra oomph. I don't know what the word is. Um, I think that this will make the basis for a full build but obviously this was just a quick video just to show you how to float stuff if you do have any questions please feel free to let me know I'm sorry if I didn't explain it very well but just try and copy what I'm doing it does take practice it's a weird one it took me a little while to get the hang of the timing but the second that I got that down it feels like it happens quite frequently um, you will sometimes get the item returned to your storage and then the items glitch up. You will sometimes, like, sorry, the loft will be returned to your storage and the items will glitch up, which is fine. Sometimes the loft will place and the items don't move. Sometimes the loft will return to your storage and the items don't move. Sometimes you'll, the items will move up. The loft will return to your inventory and you'll get like a red message on the screen that says unable to complete housing item. All these variations are fine obviously sometimes the items move up sometimes they don't if they don't just keep trying I know it's frustrating but just give it a go and as I said most important thing is remember to lock your items in place things like this little Moogle toy and the, the mug lamp they do not need to be locked in place items like this that are items that can be placed on a tabletop can be just placed on a loft that's the easiest way to look at it. if it's a tabletop item generally you can place it on a loft without having to glitch it but if it's a furnishing item like a bed chair a wardrobe etc they would go on the floor and therefore cannot be placed on the loft but yeah just trial and error and if you do find this helpful please let me know and also if you make builds based on this please show me i love 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 all things housing so that is it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was helpful if it was please do consider hitting that subscribe button giving this video a thumbs up i do really appreciate it until then have a fantastic day and i'll see you soon